The Miami Dolphins just made a trade that could turn their quarterback, the Samoan sniper, into a Super Bowl champion. The Dolphins have finally decided to exercise their option on Tua's contract, which means he's staying with the team until 2024 and getting a whopping $23 million payday. That's a bargain for a quarterback who could potentially lead his team to a Super Bowl victory. But that's not all. The Dolphins also just made a trade with the Los Angeles Rams that has everyone talking. How about Jalen Ramsey? He's taking his talents to South Beach, okay? The Dolphins are acquiring the star cornerback through a trade with the Rams, sending Los Angeles a third-round pick in this year's draft and tight end Hunter Long. Marcus, what do you think about this move? I love this move. I love this move because Xavier Howard is the best corner on that team when it comes to man coverage. And you think about Jalen and how he can be used, but you look at Miami defensively coming from a team that we talked about and lost our damn minds about <laughs> last year with blitzing so much, and right. now you get Vic Fangio. But I think Jalen Ramsey is now going to be back in a position like he was in L.A. with Staley where you are around guys okay. that play at a very high level. When it comes to the totality of their football team, there's two elite teams in the AFC right now, Kansas City and Cincinnati. This puts Miami in the conversation to have a chance to win the AFC title if they all stay healthy. In exchange for a third-round pick in the 2023 NFL Draft and tight end Hunter Long, the Dolphins are getting cornerback Jalen Ramsey. This guy is a big deal. He's been named an Associated Press All-Pro selection three times in the past four seasons. Uh, I'm fired up for, for Jalen Ramsey. I think when you look at this and you hear him say, for the past month, I've been praying for Miami to be the destination. I love when players get to help dictate where they go. When we look at how the league has transpired and everything that's gone down, players sometimes are shipped off place and they're just like, how the heck did I get here? For Jalen Ramsey, we've heard the rumors all offseason that he might be leaving L.A. That was going to be via trade. And he goes to the Miami Dolphins where he'll be mm. paired with Xavier Howard on the other side. The only issue that may come up between these two guys is who's going to cover the best wide receiver on the other team. Both of these guys, huge competitors, love to go against the best of the best. I think on top of that, they're going to be paired and put into a Vic Fangio's defense as he comes over as a defensive of uh, defensive coordinator and these are two guys who have been able to attack the ball in the air throughout their entire careers and this is a lot of fun we get to see in training camp Jalen Ramsey Xavier Howard mm -hmm. going against Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle on the other side for Chris Beer and the Miami Dolphins going all in to a tongue of our lower under a rookie contract why not spin and go out and get the veterans and place it around so they have a, a ch chance to compete in the AFC East with a lot of different good quarterbacks. I oh, mean, that's always goes you try to get back to the Super Bowl and, and win the Super Bowl. So uh, I'm just another piece of the puzzle. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring all that there, but I'm going to bring you know, that piece of the puzzle there. I got some experience in it. And I'm going to hopefully help those guys uh, visualize it and we go go get it. We got to put the work in. Though. I think that's going to be the part that stands out to me. And obviously, Jalen has some past of knowing this this defense in a, in a way, but hasn't played exactly for Vic Fangio, the architect of what really most of these defenses around the league are playing. What is it based off? Confusing quarterbacks, finding ways to have guys second guess themselves. Well, when you have a chess piece like Jalen Ramsey, that if you asked him, he'd want to play every single position on the sure. defensive side of the ball, when he can line up as a linebacker or a safety or as a slot or as a corner, he can play every single spot. I think Vic Fangio is the guy who's smiling ear to ear right now going, I can use this guy in so many different ways. But the other part of this is, and, and Jason, you know this, he, Jalen's smart enough to play all those spots, but you need the rest of your defense to have guys that can move around as well, right? If you want to move Jalen, that's going to be the part that I want to watch during training camp in this offseason. If you have a versatile nickel that you can move and you have those other pieces, right, that can do it, because if those guys can do it, Jalen can play anywhere on the field, and you know he wants to, and Vic Fangio is probably licking his chops right now. What's really interesting is that Ramsey will be the fourth defensive back in NFL history to be a first-team All-Pro at least three times before turning 30 years old and playing for at least three teams in that time. But here's the craziest part. The other three players who have been in this situation all played for a Super Bowl winning team in their first season with their third team. Deion Sanders did it with the Dallas Cowboys, Daryl Rivas did it with the New England Patriots, and Tyrone Matthew did it with the Kansas City Chiefs. So can Ramsey help the Dolphins win a Super Bowl too? The Miami Dolphins. They should be the favorites to win the AFC East. Ah, uh, you know what? They are looking really strong. They are looking really strong. 
It's all too a dependent. It's all too a dependent. Well, there's one thing that sets the Dolphins apart from those other teams. They didn't make it to the Super Bowl the season before, adding their star defensive back. In fact, Tua was sidelined with a concussion in the first round of the AFC playoffs. Maybe the addition of Ramsey will give the Dolphins the boost they need to make a Super Bowl run. What do you think? Will the Dolphins be early Super Bowl favorites this season? Let me know in the comments. This trade has got everyone buzzing, and we can't wait to see what happens next. Stay tuned, FinHub fam. In an exciting turn of events for Miami Dolphins fans, the team has reportedly agreed to terms with linebacker David Long Jr., according to NFL insider Jordan Schultz of The Score. The signing is set to take place on Wednesday, the first day of the new league year. Long, who will turn 27 in October, was a sixth-round pick by the Tennessee Titans in 2019. He played in and started 12 games in 2022 racking up an impressive 86 tackles with seven tackles for loss. In 2021, he played in nine games and started two, recording 75 tackles. Although he has yet to achieve any career sacks in his time in the NFL, Long is known for his coverage skills, with four interceptions over the past two seasons. He also boasts a passer rating against of 87, according to PFF. Despite a hamstring injury in Week 13 that saw him end the 2022 season on injured reserve, Long had entered the season as a starting linebacker for the Titans. Now he looks set to bring his skills to the Dolphins, who will no doubt be eager to see how he fits into their lineup. Long's skill set is well suited to the defensive scheme favored by new Dolphins head coach Vic Fangio, who is known to prefer inside linebackers with strong coverage skills. With Long's proficiency in this area, he could be an excellent addition to the team and help bolster their defensive prowess. Dolphins fans will no doubt be eagerly awaiting Long's arrival and hoping that he can make a positive impact on the team's fortunes in the upcoming season. Stay tuned for further updates as this exciting signing unfolds. What do you think will upgrading the linebacker position and we can't wait to see what happens next? Stay tuned, FinHub fam! Breaking news! The Miami Dolphins have just signed summer New York Jets quarterback Mike White to a two-year, $16 million contract. The signing comes just two hours after the NFL free agency began and fills the Dolphins' need for a backup quarterback. White, a Pembroke Pines native who went to high school and college in South Florida, expressed interest in playing for the Dolphins during an interview on the Joe Rogan. The Dolphins believe that White is the right fit for their backup quarterback position. Fans are eager to see what he can bring to the team and how he will contribute to their success in the upcoming season. Be sure to stay tuned as the Miami Dolphins free agency news is sure to ramp up. Breaking news. The Miami Dolphins have just signed Deshaun Elliott as an unrestricted free agent. With the Ramsey trade, David Long signing, and now Elliott on board, our defense is sure to take a big leap forward in 2023. And we're thrilled to have him on our roster. He'll make an excellent third safety, providing our team with a safety net at the position and giving us the opportunity to use Vic Fangio's coveted three-safety formation. Spot Rack puts his market value at $10 million a year, but the specifics of his deal have yet to be disclosed. We're confident that he'll be a great fit on our team, and we're excited to see what he'll bring to the field in the upcoming season. As a fan, I think it's a no-brainer that we should keep Elliott around. He stepped up for his former team when they needed him most and became a vocal leader on their defense. He shared the field with our very own Brandon Jones in college, and it sure is exciting to have them reunite. We need players like him on our team, and I believe he'll be a valuable contributor to our success in 2023. So, welcome to the team, Deshaun Elliott. We're thrilled to have you on board. Let me know what you think in the comments. After missing out on Jordan Poyer, do you think the Elliott signing was a good move? Stay tuned, FinHub fam. More Dolphins news is sure to come. The Miami Dolphins have just added a new player to their team, and he's bringing a whole new element to the game. His name is Braxton Berrios, and he's a former University of Miami receiver who's known for his impressive skills on both special teams and offense. Berrios recently signed a one-year deal with the Dolphins, and if he makes it onto their roster, he's expected to upgrade their special team's return game and compete for a starting receiver role. 
Last season, the Dolphins had a bit of a problem with their slot receiver position, and their punt return game wasn't exactly impressive either. This is where Berrios can really contribute as both are considered his specialties. He's averaged over 11 yards on 67 career punt returns and nearly 25 yards on 67 career kickoff returns. Plus, he's got a pretty solid record as a slot receiver with over 100 catches and five touchdowns over the past four seasons. Some people are even comparing Berrios to Wes Welker, a former Miami Dolphin and NFL standout who excelled at the slot position. In fact, Welker happens to be the coach of Miami's wide receiver unit, so you know he's got high hopes for Berrios. And let's not forget that adding Berrios to the roster was a top priority for the Dolphins this season. They've only got a handful of receivers on their roster right now, and they typically take 10 to 12 players into training camp. So it looks like Berrios will be a valuable addition to the team, especially since he's not the only Jets player who's recently joined the Dolphins. QB Mike White and lineman Dan Feeney have also made the switch. All in all, it's an exciting time to be a Dolphins fan. What do you think about the signing? Was it a good move? And who else are you looking forward to the Dolphins signing this offseason? Let me know in the comments. While there hasn't been a splashy signing on the offensive line yet, like last year's Taron Armstead or even Connor Williams, the latest moves show that the team is not resting on its laurels. The Dolphins recently re-signed veteran Kendall Lamb and brought back tackle Jerron Christian. They also added interior offensive lineman Dan Feeney from the New York Jets, who could potentially compete with Liam Eikenberg for the starting left guard position. Although Feeney has extensive starting experience, having started every game for the Los Angeles Chargers from 2018 to 2020, he only started seven of 33 games for the Jets. Christian, who joined the Dolphins late last season after a stint with the Kansas City Chiefs, didn't get any playing time. Nevertheless, these moves appear to be depth signings to augment the offensive line's performance, which was adequate but not great last season. The Dolphins have invested in players like Eichenberg and 2020 first-round pick Austin Jackson, giving them every opportunity to start at left guard and right tackle, respectively. The sample size for these players at their positions is still small, particularly after Jackson missed most of last season due to ankle issues. The Dolphins are confident that their offensive line can get the job done, with the nucleus up front remaining largely the same. Inadequate play at left guard and right tackle could jeopardize the team's performance on offense, but the definition of inadequate remains to be seen. Last season, the offensive line was more than adequate when Armstead was in the lineup at left tackle. However, pass protection was inadequate when Armstead was absent. While it's possible that the Dolphins could add a front-line player to help out the offensive line, they only have so much money and cap space to work with. The team has already added a big name with cornerback Jalen Ramsey, so there's still a possibility of a big-name player joining the offensive line. Ultimately, the Dolphins are hoping for continued development from their young players with the depth to make it work if issues arise. The key to the offensive line's success will be as much about Armstead staying in the lineup as any potential signings that could be made. Nevertheless, the Dolphins are looking to run it back, and they're counting on the offensive line to continue improving. The Miami Dolphins have signed lineman Kendall Lamb, now, Lamb only played in one game at left tackle in the 2022 season. In fact, he's likely to assume a similar role this upcoming season. Of course, Dolphins fans... The Dolphins are pretty set at left tackle, center, and right guard. But there's definitely room for some friendly competition at left guard and right tackle. While Lamb only played left tackle during his one start for the Dolphins last season, he has some starting experience as a right tackle. In fact, he started 13 of his 15 games for the Houston Texans back in 2018. So there's no doubt that he could be a real contender for that starting spot. The Dolphins have been making all sorts of exciting moves this offseason. They recently snagged star cornerback Jalen Ramsey from the Los Angeles Rams and added quarterback Mike White to back up to Otago Bailoa. Plus, they decided to bring back running backs Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson. Of course, the real question on everyone's mind is who else the Dolphins are going to add to their roster. With a light load of draft picks heading into the 2023 NFL Draft, it seems like any big names will have to come from free agency or trades. 
That being said, the Dolphins still have their highest upcoming pick, which is the number 51 overall pick of the draft. And with a high priority to protect Tua in the upcoming season, there's a good chance they'll be looking for some serious talent on the offensive line. So don't be surprised if they decide to spend that second round pick on a top tier offensive lineman. Let me know what you think about this signing down in the comments. Matt Filer is about to hit the market, and he's definitely someone the Miami Dolphins should keep an eye on. The Chargers just released him after agreeing to terms with Trey Pipkins, and it's a perfect opportunity for the Dolphins to swoop in and snatch him up. The Dolphins are pretty set at left tackle, center, and right guard, but there's definitely a need at left guard and right tackle. Interestingly enough, Filer can play both left guard and right tackle, and he's got the experience to back it up. He started 33 out of 34 possible games at left guard over the past two seasons with the Chargers, and he spent four seasons in Pittsburgh, starting a total of 40 games. The best part? Filer is only 30 years old, which means he's still got plenty of gas left in the tank. He's a reliable player who knows how to protect his quarterback and open up lanes for his running back, and he's got a great work ethic to boot. Filer's versatility means that he can step in and play multiple positions in case of injuries or other unforeseen circumstances and really go a long way in protecting our franchise quarterback. So, Miami Dolphins, what are you waiting for? Go out there and sign Matt Filer. He's a great player who will bring experience and versatility to the team, and with the Chargers saving $6.5 million by releasing him, you might be able to get him at a great price. Let me know what you think, Dolphin fans. Should we go after Matt Filer? The team is adding some muscle to their tight end position by signing Eric Saubert to a one-year deal. Saubert, a fifth-round pick by the Atlanta Falcons in the 2017 draft, has had quite the journeyman career so far. He spent two seasons in Atlanta before being traded to the Patriots, only to be waived a mere two weeks later. But don't count him out just yet, because Saubert then joined the Raiders practice squad and but he didn't stay on the market for long. The Jacksonville Jaguars scooped him up for their practice squad two days later. Fast forward to 2022, and Salbert had a solid season with the Broncos, appearing in all 17 games and snagging 15 receptions for 148 yards with one touchdown. Now, Salbert is a free agent no more, and he's bringing his talents to South Beach. It remains to be seen how he'll fit into the Dolphins' game plan, but one thing's for sure, the team is making moves, and we can't wait to see what they do next. Let me know what you think about the signing down in the comments. Stay tuned, FinHub fam, as more Dolphins news is sure to come.